Hello, my darling Virgos. Welcome in for your weekly reading. Fun announcement, I'm going to be hosting a live in-person book signing slash manifestation workshop the weekend of the 25th and the 26th in Port St. Lucie. Um, the Eventbrite is going to be down below, but basically I also have an option if you want to book a personal reading with me while I'm there. So check that link for the event right down in the description box below. I would love to see you. I would love to meet you in person. Let's talk manifestation. Let's talk the book and tarot, all the things. Um, they're going to be tarot slash astrology personal readings. Also, if you want to book a one on one with me, virtually i've kind of switched up my schedule since i will be doing more traveling and in-person events um i do them more as like a 90 minute coaching session now so it includes tarot it includes astrology so if you want to book with me i only offer 10 spots a month so check that out i also last last one but i got a lot of opportunities okay um i'm hosting a retreat in tulum in october full moon in Taurus. It's going to be amazing. There's already two spots that have been locked in. So if you want to spend the weekend with me, it's a little girl's trip and it's going to be nice and intimate. Um, and yeah, we're going to have a blast. So check that out. Let's dive into the reading. The song I got on shuffle was cold blooded creatures. Um, so I feel like by Aluna George, so I feel like there's going to be a decision you have to make that it's like facts over feelings. I feel like you could be um, cold blooded. You could be dealing with somebody cold blooded, but I feel like it's more like there's a dis the energy that I'm getting is there's a decision that you're going to have to make. That's like um, a little cold blooded in the sense of not letting feelings get in the way of whatever decision you make. So you might have to like cut someone off and be like, like, I don't know, maybe you work in a job where you have to fire somebody, but it kind of gives me that vibe, like, like, oh, take the feelings out of it. Take the feelings out of it. The first card we get is the lesson. Wisdom through mistakes. So you could be reaching your breaking point with a situation. What is the... Oh, yeah, by the way, at the event, I will be giving away signed copies of my book. So if you haven't bought it already, but plan to come to the event, then don't worry about it. Um, okay. What's happening for my Virgos this week? Manifestation, what you desire, it's on its way. So it's kind of like in order to get your manifestation, you kind of have to make like a tough decision. And it's not really that tough. It's just like, sorry about it. Like, it's kind of like choosing me and, and yeah, cold-blooded, cutting somebody off, reaching your breaking point with the situation. What is happening for my Virgos this week? We have rest. I think once you do it, you're going to feel way better because something about this like decision or choice has been having you like all up in your head, okay? Um, that's a Beyonce song on her new album. Like, I... Try to get all up in your mind. Um, yeah, this has been all up in your head. So when it when you finally do kind of cut whatever this is, it feels like it's like a relief and you can finally rest. Recuperate. What is what is happening for my Virgos this week, please? The end of a tough cycle approaches. See, there's definitely meditate and contemplate we have full moon in capricorn new moon in pisces that's the next moon cycle that's coming up so something could be happening significant i think it's on march 4th this year the new moon something significant could be happening around the new moon for you this new moon in pisces let's go one more don't let pride get in your way okay so ego deaths ego deaths, reaching some kind of breaking point. This could be speaking your truth in some kind of way that it's just like, 
you set it, it's out there, and it's done, all right? Like the first line of the song is like, no love and no graces. I'm not gonna lie, I just want your body covering bases. Um, it's very like, no feelings, nothing else to involve. Uh, we have Seventh House Partners and Taurus I Have. So this is about self-worth, value, possession, finances with the partners here. Seventh house, this can talk about like relationships or it can talk about like business partners. What's going on here? The Mars force. I feel like this could also be, look, sun spirit, you expressing yourself and like asking for what you want, okay? Asking for what you want and really not letting emotions get in the way of it. So you could be, dropping an ultimatum somebody could be giving you an ultimatum it might seem cold it might seem harsh i feel like it's more from your side of like this is the this is the way the cookie's gonna crumble okay so my virgos might be putting on their big girl big boy pants this this week um so let's see we have the page of crystals there is like, this feels like there's an opportunity that's gonna present itself that either there might be competition for this opportunity or like you kind of have to put yourself out there for it. It's not just gonna fall in your lap. It's one of those that like, say if it is dealing with a job, you're gonna have to kind of either set some kind of boundaries or be like, I am the one who deserves this job. <laughs> Something like that. Like, I just see something like you being very direct with something. Okay, overall energy of the week, we have the nine of crystals. So independence, abundance. It's my single card. Um, this is also somebody who is very self-reliant, very abundant, um, very prosperous, effortlessly. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune here. So forward movement, okay? Positive forward movement happening here um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Crystals. Like there's something that I feel like you're standing your ground on and you're standing your ground on it because you are really confident in your own abundance, okay? And this could have to do with some kind of material abundance. This could have to do with like, I'm going solo, I know my worth, I know my value, I know what I bring to the table. So if you're not willing, if we're not moving this forward, then it, it, it's not happening. Like I'm out, you know, three of swords. Like you're willing to, you're willing to confront some kind of disappointment or upset energy if it means that you know, you're standing around and setting some kind of boundary here. We have the two of crystals. So juggling balance, we have the Empress, ooh, a, more abundance here. Ten of crystals, yeah, there we go. The Eight of Swords and the Tower. Um, so see, this is kind of that indecisive energy, but I feel like, especially with the Tower here, it's, I feel like there's somebody around you who's been really indecisive, or there's a situation where it's like being stuck, but then the tower comes to play and it's like the ult it's either an ultimatum or it's like breaking something, breaking you out of this stuck energy. What is the two of crystals doing here, please? The chariot in reverse. This is like um, somebody weighing out options, losing their options. I've been seeing this in the reading too. So I don't know if it's you or somebody around you who's like taking their sweet ass time and they're gonna wind up with nothing, okay? That's that reaching a breaking point, you know? Why is this chariot in reverse here? The queen of swords, see, this is what I'm talking about. That's that cold cut energy. It's like, you think, you think you're in control here I feel like this is more you towards somebody else, but like I'm about to go in a completely different direction. If you've been feeling stuck or like, like you're lacking power, that's gonna change. That's gonna change. The power dynamic is about to shift. Tables are about to turn. And I feel like you're really standing into your authority here. 
Okay, so what is the Empress doing here? Some of you have a female coming in, like a woman. I do pick up on a very feminine energy who's going to kind of give you an opportunity or provide you with an opportunity. This is like elsewhere from whatever this situation is. What is the Empress doing here, please? The Four of Swords. See, this is like in the rest stage. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I feel like there's going to be like a big change to your, um, to your foundation. I don't think it's a bad one. I think it's like, like this could literally be a move. Like you could be moving, um, you could be moving. It's like with the Empress here, the Empress, you know, that's my like fertility card giving birth. So it'd be like, you know, once you give birth to that child, it changes a lot of things. Um, there's something, some kind of change to your foundation. I actually think it's because you make more money or like there's some kind of abundance that's on its way to you that almost is like a readjustment that you're going to have to be making. Um, and it could just, it could just throw you off. It, it, I mean, if you were to win the lottery tomorrow, you know, you win like the jackpot. You'd be, you can't sit there and say like things don't change. Things would change. You'd start questioning like, okay, is the job that I'm working at, do I like this job? Do I like what I do with my date? Like now I have the luxury and the freedom. So there could be something coming in for you that's gonna provide you with freedom to have this space to decide. What is this change to your foundation? With the 10 of crystals here, it's something, you know, we have the hangman. The change to your foundation. I do feel like for some of you, it's <laughs> it's something that you, you might feel like suspended. You have to wait for it. You have to wait for it. It's like, um, this is a good manifestation tip uh, that I heard yesterday on like TikTok. I was scrolling through TikTok and the woman said, um, a good example of like the time delay with manifestation is like when you tell a kid that they're going to have a birthday party and their birthday is like a month away, but they're, and you're telling them about the birthday party and what it's gonna be like. And they're like, but I wanna have it now. And you're like, no, you have to wait. You have to be patient. It's gonna be, you know, um, and then they're kind of like have no concept of time. So they throw the tantrum and they start crying. They're like, I want it now. And you're like, it's gonna happen, but be patient. That's kind of what this energy is. Like there's something manifesting for you and you might hear about the manifestation or you might, like there might be a delay in receiving it. So there's some kind of suspension, all right? It's like, you know it's coming. You've gotten the confirmation that it's coming and there is a lot of change that's about to show up, but you kind of have to wait for it. Um, but with the 10 of pentacles here, this is something, I do feel like it's something that's going to be not like a, it's gonna be like a long-term change. It's gonna, it's gonna bring long-term change into your life. So there is like this, this transition that's happening here. What is the 10 of pentacles? Look, we have the magician in reverse. What is the 10 of pentacles doing here? The temperance. It's like weird. It, it, a lot of divine timing is happening here. And I'd love to hear in the comments how this is relating to you guys because there's, it's showing up, it's coming, but there's kind of nothing you can do. So that's the kind of waiting point is like, um, you, do you have the tools? You don't really have like the, it, it's a, it's kind of a spirit, like Jesus take the wheel type of vibe here, going on here. What is this new beginning happening for you? The six of wands. Okay. What is the eight of swords doing here? What is the eight of swords doing here? The Nine of Cups and the Fool card. Okay, so, okay, let's go one more. The Hierophant. 
yeah, this is something that's been like weighing heavy on you mentally, but I feel like the mental part of it's going to release but there is still some kind of waiting, some kind of feeling stuck, because then the next step is to take some kind of action here, um, to take some kind of leap of faith to make this decision. I do feel like whatever's coming in for you is going to bring big change and a big long term change and a lot of like needing to trust the universe and then taking like a leap of faith. The leap of faith comes because it's going to be. It's going to be a commitment like there's a commitment that you're making here so whether that's to another person um whether that's like entering into a partnership but you're committing to like a big change okay because the tower card is here what is this tower card doing here please the six of swords yeah it's like once you leave you're not coming back Okay, four of wands, but it's offering a lot of happiness, passion, the nine of swords, the hermit. Um, what is, I just see a lot of anxiety around this though. What is, why is there so much anxiety around this for my Virgos? The king of cups, because you have choices, you have options. And yeah, there is a need to like strength, courage, not letting pride, not letting ego get in the way. And ego can be that voice inside of our head that tells us like, you can't do it. Um, why is there so much anxiety around this? The Knight of Cups. I think the anxiety is like, is this the right choice? Is this the right choice, you know? Because um, there's something about this that is sort of binding. What is this commitment you're going to be making? Four of Cups. The High Priestess. What is this commitment that you're going to be making? And the King of Pentacles. I think you're putting your trust into something or someone, okay? You're putting your trust into something or someone. You have options here, and I feel like the feeling is... What if I miss an opportunity? But if you sit too long on it, you will miss the opportunity. Um, so there is a need to kind of take faith, take action. Where are you heading towards? Like, what is this tower energy? Or like, what is this change in foundation? Eight of Wands. It could have to do with travel. Like I'm saying, you might be moving. And it's not like a move like, oh, I'm going away for a year. It's like, this is going to be like where I have the rest of my life, you know, the king of wands. What is, where are you heading? The three of pentacles. Yeah, it's like building anew. It's action. It's, um, it would also be something that happens like pretty fast, I think. It would be like a really fast change, which is why there might be anxiety. And then it's like not only a fast change, but a need to kind of rebuild like whatever foundation you built but that's kind of what the tower looks like to me it'd be like if you your house gets knocked down and then you're never going to have that house again because you have to rebuild it and you're not going to rebuild it the same you know so there's something something in regards to that uh but we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper Oh, let me, before we go, I'm going to, before I dive in deeper in the extent, I'm going to pull some archetype cards. Normally that gives us clearer energies. We'll pull some romance angels. We'll pull some message cards, see if we can't get a deeper look. But I want to pull what this like cold blooded decision is that you, you might have to make. What is this um, cold blooded decision? The two of swords. Talk about cold blooded. This is like facts over feelings. Um, what is this cold-blooded decision you have to make? The Knight of Pentacles. It's like, is this, pra like, looking at the practicalities of it. Um, the Three of Swords. What is this cold-blooded decision you have to make? Five of Swords. Oh my god, this is so mental conflict. But once you make it, you're gonna feel so much better. There's definitely something, 
it's like you don't want to have to do this, but you kind of have to be logical and practical. So what are you going to be cutting out here? Page of Swords. And the Three of Cups. This is like, I'm telling you, facts over feelings. But your feelings are going to be involved, but you're kind of pushing these out. You know, you're making a decision based on facts. What does this decision have to do with? Eight of Pentacles. Work effort. Seven of Pentacles. Planting seeds. A new opportunity. So you might be leaving behind something that you are emotionally tied to. But it's more so like facts over feelings. Facts over feelings. This could have to do with a work situation with all the Pentacles here. This could have to do with a financial situation. Um, but I see it's like getting out of your comfort zone as well, but it leads to something that'll grow more in the long term to do with the awakening, the judgment card and the justice card. So yeah, this is like, um, the time limit is up, like time's up. Like you have to make a decision now. Judgment day is upon us. What's your decision? What's the final decision? Either you make it or it's going to get made for you. So in the extended, we're kind of going to dive a little bit deeper into what all of that means. So if you're interested in that, be sure to join um, for more bonus content that I post over there. And I will see you hopefully in Port St. Lucie and if not, in my next video.